tweet, 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 tweet. If I were to ask you where most people get their news, where people go to stay abreast about the goings on in this bizarre world that we live in, what would you say? You might say, oh, well, then maybe they watch the news on TV. Maybe they read the Wall Street Journal. <laughs> No one, read, no one reads the Wall Street Journal. But if you said Twitter.com, you'd, you'd be absolutely right. Twitter.com is the planet's water cooler. It's where people go to hang out, exchange ideas, share ideologies, and post memes trying to convince other people why they're right and you're wrong. I mean, it is just the most toxic place on the planet. But it makes for a, it makes for a pretty good time, so... Here we, we are. are. So listen, as always, my loins are soaked with gratitude for the mere fact that you would decide to spend a few minutes here with me before moving on with your day. I know we've been talking a lot about the YouTube, uh, YouTube sphere, the past. There's a lot of rice gum, a little Jake Paul in the mix. I thought today, why not look out over the horizon, see what's going on in the world, see what else is going on uh, outside of just this kind of the popular YouTube drama and uh there's no better place to do that to see what's popular what's happening what's popping than to uh check out the you the uh the f f than to check out what's trending on twitter so here we go somebody get the body bags we're going with the beats in them now put the em season them season them alert the daycare staff 70k too i can only imagine that's about the presidency a couple of celtics ones. let's take a look at uh National Food Day. Let's start it up with a little. First off, before going on, can I just point out, like, this whole national film, the blank day craze is, is kind of fucking retarded. I mean, I feel like there's a domain you can just log in and just register any day of the year to be national whatever day. It's National Fidget Spinner Day. Here's a cool meme. Oh, oh, oh it's, it's, it's National Taco Day. Let's drink margaritas. Listen, that's cultural appropriation. Cut it out. And just a heads up, gentlemen, tomorrow is National Wash Your Cum Sock Day, so you perverts are gonna have a little bit of laundry to do. Just wanted to give you the heads up. So starting off with hashtag National Food Day, my friend Keats says this. If today is National Food Day, what the hell have I been eating the other 364 and a quarter days? <sighs> <laughs> Shut up. <coughs> Ooh, comedy gold. Comedy gold. Happy National Food Day with a gif of a rabbit having his carrot stolen by what looks like a guinea pig. Listen, if you know anything about Twitter, it's that you can share a rabbit gif and you're automatically going to get at least 100 likes. People fucking love rabbits on the internet. Can't blame them, they're cute as hell. Allison Scott says, it's National Food Day, all about showcasing healthy food. I still plan to celebrate with sweets though, dot, dot, dot. Oh man, talk about going through a rebellious phase right now, Allison. I bet you're probably dressing goth and telling your parents to fuck off when they say I love you, am I right? You'll grow out of it. If you're going to eat meat, try to avoid factory farm products, hashtag National Food Day. Hashtag Tuesday Motivation. Hashtag Animal Rights. Travis is a true Twitter warrior, just sparing no expense and using every hashtag possible to fight the war of animal rights. Bravo, Travis. Bra bravo, Travis. Travis, bra brav the fucko, Travis. Brav. You know what? To each their own. I mean, I typically enjoy factory farmed products because I just I have a hankering for that aftertaste of animal cruelty. <gasps> I'm kidding, I'm fucking, I'm kidding. Relax, shut up, I love animals, they're cute as hell. That nurse came into my room, she told me I'm sick in the head. All right, enough of this food bullshit, let's move on to Tuesday thoughts though. Apparently, probably happens every Tuesday. This is a great opportunity for people to share their thoughts, because it's Tuesday, let's check them out. Gary Vaynerchuk with the top post. If you don't know who Gary Vaynerchuk is, do yourself a solid and figure it out. I typically get a little cringe with the, the motivational types, right, but Vaynerchuk, is a fucking boss. Uh, he's he's a, he's killing killing the game. Anyways, he says this: 99% of things don't matter, and for the biggest things, it's always better to go with your gut than to overthink it. The more you think about it, the more you talk yourself out of it. Uh, it's I mean, it's good. That's pretty good as far as motivational memes go. That one that one's got me feeling good. I love to point fingers at my own imperfections, as they are what make me human. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. <sighs> 
Oh, man, that tweet is just dripping in profundity. God, I love these Tuesday thoughts. Let's keep it going. In case no one has told you today, you're strong. You're special. You are needed. You are alive for a reason. Never give up. <sighs> Don't be hard on yourself when you think of your issues. The last I checked, broken crayons still color beautifully. Tuesday thoughts. Okay, Lucas. All right. I'll give you that. But it's way harder to color with a broken crayon. The little, having to use a little nub. Maybe that's just me because I have big, fat sausage fingers. But I'd much, rather, I'd much rather draw or color with a full-size crayon. So, fuck off, Lucas. My God, Lucas is all over this hashtag. Please repeat after me. I am beautiful. I am worthy of love. I am not my mistakes. I am accepting of my flaws. Today is your day. Start fresh, eat right, train hard, live healthy, be humble, be kind, take a chance, make a difference. <laughs> Listen, I have no qualms with the power of positive thinking, but this, <laughs> I mean, my man Lucas is just, he's a little too much for my fragile heart. I am a bit of a pragmatic nihilist, I will admit, but, uh, Whoa, baby, this guy's really, this guy's really a bit much. Life is not a competition. Find the stuff that makes your soul sing and be your own uniquely beautiful self. Fuck out of here, life is absolutely a competition. You want a nice car? You want a nice house? You want to go to a nice school? You want to get that cute girl or guy that's two grades above you and you don't think you have a chance? You better be a fucking, you better fucking treat life like it's a fucking competition. I will tell you right now. If you want to get what you want, you have to outwork every other motherfucker around you that's trying to do the exact same thing. You want to get out of your minimum wage job? You better beat all these pussies that you work with and do better than them so you can get to the next level. I'll tell you what's not going to get you what you want, and that's constantly consuming these fucking vague, played out bullshit, motivational memes all over the internet to try and make yourself feel a little bit better about the fact that you're not willing to step outside of your comfort zone to get what you want. I'm only teasing. That did make me feel pretty nice inside, I must admit. Unintended comments. Consequences. Let's check it out. Oh, lost the board. No, come on. No, he did. That ha That. Come on. That's gotta be. <laughs> that fucking. Oh, good night. That's gotta be staged or something, right? First of all, this is just a perfect example of the egregious use of trending Twitter hashtags simply to try and get exposure for your post that's completely unrelated to any of the hashtags. So, fuck off, Tom Hall. Happy Tuesday, the twenty fourth. I declare that today will be amazing. Be left. Fuck. It's Lucas again. Fuck off, Lucas. Amazing cycling skills and balance. Hashtag Tuesday thoughts. What is? What is she doing? How is that? Wow. Remarkable. Another great example of a post that, you know, has nothing to do with Tuesday Thoughts. They're just, they're just promoting their own. Looks like a video downloader website. That's <laughs> fantastic. How, my only question about people that do this type of shit, like when, at what point are you like, man, I would love to get nasty at riding a bicycle backwards like it's a unicycle. And then all of a sudden you just crush it. And you're internet famous for like, three weeks while the video clip goes viral and then you're just someone who fucking rides a bike weird. Well, that's gonna be all I can handle of trending Twitter right now. Uh, you guys, thank you so much for bearing with me. Hope you had a chuckle or two. You see the walls? See how there's nothing left on them? That's right, this is the last video that I'm making in this office right here. Wrapping it up, gonna work the next few days and then the big move is on this Saturday and we're on to uh, the next chapter in my life in a new home. Very excited. I appreciate everyone uh, that's been so supportive. I've seen so many well wishes in the comment section, you know, congrats or good luck on the new house and stuff really means the world to me. I uh, appreciate it. It's a very exciting time and I have no idea uh, where we'll go from there, but I'm very excited about the next couple years. Listen, I'm going to give Nigel a chance to say a little something. I know he hasn't talked much in the last few videos, but uh, Nigel, how do you feel, bud, about this being the last video <clears throat> out of this office? What do you think? You know, I'm really going to miss this place. Wow, that's actually the first time you haven't been a complete dickhead when I've allowed you to talk. Yeah, Jesus. I'm gonna... I'm gonna miss this room, too. Yeah, alright, guys. Till the next video. Fucking love you. Oh, my God, I almost forgot. Just do me a favor. Get up out your computer chair. Mm hip thrust that motherfucking like button. That was cringy, I'm sorry. That was... I'm not proud of that one. Anyways, here's the outro.
<laughs> I'm just kidding. Here, the outro's coming right now. You, 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 you. I need some motherfucking views. Views.